And welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming. Draymond here playing more Life is Strange. And we're just going to continue on with episode one, Chrysalis. So we had just, um, well, witnessed a uh, murder in the, in the uh, ladies bathroom and found out we could Rewind time. So that was pretty Prescott, neat. Please come to the front office. Thank yeah, you. we kind of saw this little aspect of it happen moments ago. Um, we are uh, just going to do this really quick. Just run through all of these. Um, I know I read them all last time. Um, how come that, oh right, because I think I remember this being starred the last time, even though, even though we had actually gone through all of this before, yeah, it's still starred and we don't know why. Okay. So let's go check out everything here posters over posters somebody really wants to find rachel amber yeah again i, do... I would so be there if a sasquatch actually did battle a razorback <laughs> uh let's see anything that we need to worry about not really um we definitely are going to have to f figure out this mystery Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Alright, well, let's go check out everything that we can, because that's basically what we do here. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Um... David Madsen? I don't really know who that David is. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse oh, to yeah. harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. <laughs> this is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Okay. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. Hmm. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Yeah, you know Absolutely. what? Absolutely. I, I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. <laughs> Perfect. This action will have consequences. I imagine it will. Oh, and we have something from Warren. Can you get me my flash drive? Meet you in the lot. Oh, okay. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I don't even know how to get there. We'll figure it out, though. Let's go talk to everybody that we can. Evan? I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. 
Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Hmm. Falling soldier. That I do not know. Let's go Robert Duazani. Isn't it Robert Duano? Duano? Oh my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. But we can do this. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool This kind of neat. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. We you know who it's a not. Simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? So, how about Eugene about Smith? Be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. All right. Best. Uh, let's see. Hey, Evan. Three out of four. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? <laughs> let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? All right. That's got to be Steve McCurry uh, then. Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. All right. Well, we can tell that this was definitely my subject in school. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Well, obviously it was Robert Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Cool. Let's check it out. These photos are great. <laughs> Rachel. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Okay. Interesting. Like a year ago. And this is the missing girl. Abstract landscapes. Okay. Reading. That's the dorms. Okay, so we don't want to go that way yet. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Hmm. Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, Read. You know him. Uh... Not really. I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, tell me. I don't really want to say that I busted him, but nope. Nope, he... he's just an entitled dick with a lot of money. Not my type. Somebody needs to take that prick down. It'll happen. Karma doesn't play yep. favorites. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Meh. Alright. Karma Clever. is a... I think it's a real thing, so you know what? We'll let karma play out and deal with it that way. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an ex- What's up, Daniel? <laughs> oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Uh, I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny <laughs> you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. So what happened Yeah, to what her? happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. 
I just hope she's okay. Yep. You knew her? her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. Yeah, it's hard to, to avoid, avoid her posters, posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay. Yeah, I bet. Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way. You're a good substitute, Muse. Mm. Oh, that's a good posture. Interesting. Good. Good. Best oh, portrait pretty good. ever. Neat. That action will have consequences. I'm sure it will. And that's okay. Who the heck is that? Some lady. I found Estella. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. <laughs> hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Yeah. I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. Hmm. If Victoria great. wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Gross. Now that you mention it. Uh, Victoria, no way. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Oh, great. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of click. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Uh, it's gonna be like one of those types of... That's not good. Hopefully she didn't like... Um, kind, this kind is like... a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Um, I don't know if people have seen... Like... The... Uh, 13 reasons why type of thing where someone's doing something so insane. you know new kid everything is happening too fast and none of it makes any sense these visions this power I I'll keep expecting back to that wake thought up in a minute time. but if this is a dream then I'm not asleep which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Yeah. So, basically, like a trope of these types of um, stories is that person actually didn't do something or they get bullied into it or hazed into something um and then they're they don't want that to happen to them uh, how do we are we done sitting we leave now um and then they often go to commit suicide and that's what i'm kind of getting so far from this from this story so maybe she didn't actually you know have relations with mr jefferson but people force thought that maybe things got out maybe there's so many rumors things like that and then she you know maybe we look at the the cliff right that we've seen already um and where we need to go to eventually 
And maybe that's... Maybe she threw her... Is that a drone? And maybe she, um... Oh yeah, she's probably driving the drone. Okay. Uh, and maybe she threw herself off a cliff, right? So, that would be my... Guess There's right Hayden now. in his Vortex Club harem. Hey, Hayden. There she is! The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. <laughs> it kinda does. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. The sounds, yeah. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. Uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace? See, it Did sounds Victoria like he probably like knows more. She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. Hmm. And I'll deny I ever said that. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh. Please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo <laughs> doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Right. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has <laughs> his extreme moments, but don't we all? No. I don't know yet, Hayden. No, we don't. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Hmm. Interesting. He doesn't seem that bad. He seems more like the aloof, big, like, um, jock type, right? Brooke actually has a drone? Hey, that's a big Hi, thing Brooke. nowadays. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? <laughs> of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. That's funny. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. All right, well, let's uh, come back to that. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This <laughs> is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy <laughs> sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, Interesting. step back. Well, we'll come back to that eventually. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. I'm not gonna search it. Well, I mean, technically, I guess we could search it. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Oh. So then I wonder... Now... Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? 
That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now oh, that's yeah. a nice piece that's of tech. Neat. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. <laughs> and I'll I'm sure I'll crash it. So I'm not actually controlling it. Got it. Oh, definitely hurts the eyes, though. But this is pretty neat. And this is before, like, nowadays, anyone can have your drone pretty easily. You can buy them, etc., anywhere. Uh, Future Shop, Best Buy, all that type of stuff. This is pre all of that. So this would be pretty neat tech. And yeah, that's probably about the style of um, camera and stuff on it that you would get. Okay. Neat. Ah, oh, shoot. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> okay well here's always a fun thing that you should never do and that's have an open cup of water by a computer <laughs> uh definitely just accidentally knocked that over uh i'll get though just Ooh, on the desktop gross. so at least switch to e6 agreed gross oh that's not nice Poor little otter. Mm. No nope, posters. I... They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. <laughs> True. I don't want to go that way. Can you swim to succeed? Nope, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go that way. All right. We know we do not want to go there. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. Yep. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. <laughs> I'm sure it has too. Okay, so that's where we need to go eventually. But not right now. More... I could go for a burger now. Okay, got it. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. <laughs> Yo, That's Justin. Funny. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. That's... Yeah. There Yo, we go. Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tray flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. <laughs> oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Let's try the tray flip. tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ah, oh, nice. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's a good one. Optional photo. Yep. Uh, nothing like the old 
obviously can't go there. Okay. So I guess to the dorms we go. Got it. Uh, yeah, nothing like having somebody do a trick and then smash themselves. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Hmm. Yeah. This is pretty neat. Well, let's check this out then. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. Ow. Hmm. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Yep. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Gross. Oh, dude. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Rachel owes the owes me money. Yeah. Great. Yeah, see, that's the type of thing where it's like, I don't think it's very good at all. I feel like Alyssa I think she was and I driven should be better something friends. Rather than. No. Oh, hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. Mm. It's a bestseller. What Dude. to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right. Logan. Hey, Logan Robertson, all-American asshole. Agreed. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Done. Cat. Yes. And that's Zachary. Sweet. Uh, nope. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a fo football, Max. Big football. Step away. <clears throat> nice, bro. Warren told me that <laughs> totem is named Tobango for a reason nobody knows. Interesting. Ah, <laughs> oh, hey, Kate. Glad to see our campus is eco friendly. There's Kate. Looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. That's not Is good. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Oh. That's sad. Nice. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. Hmm. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. What hmm. do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prism? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Okay. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. I can see why people Rachel think did both at once, he's you know. a creep. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep. I paint. Okay. Weird. Can't get in there. Can't look at that. Okay. Oh, good. Are they in the way? Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Great. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Oh, she's so nice. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. 
The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> sure. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Yeah. What a bitch. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Yep. Here's a way to move people out of the way. Can't go in that way. Alright. Well, let's go check over by Samuel then. Eh. Is he gonna are we gonna make him drop paint on people? Because that'd be hilarious. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. <laughs> Fantastic. So now, we need something to knock that over. Can we, like, take the ball? Because that's kind of what I was thinking. Do you, do you understand English? Get lost. Yeah. What a horrible person. Yeah. I need to figure this out. That's what I... Yeah, I know it's there. Okay. Oh, do I have to do something before he puts it up there? Is that the case? None shall pass. Capiche? I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive yeah. to beat it. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Yeah, but we can only look at it. We can't. Hmm. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Nice, bro. What the hell? Awesome. Okay. Awesome. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. With okay, it. let's see if this works. Got it. Okay. Yeah. We figured it out. So we just had to go back farther in time. Got it. No way! No fucking okay, way! Okay, Victoria? 
Oh, Sammy, oh, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hmm? Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Make fun of. <laughs> or comfort. We can comfort. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Show a bit of compassion. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Just actually, you know. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. The joys. It's one of those of days, you know. I know exactly what you nowadays. mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Okay. God, I mean, we could do. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Nope. I'm okay with like this. We can take the high road. High roads are a good thing to do. You know, as much as you want to not, sometimes, a lot of times it's the best thing to do. Alright, reward. Um, images of my cat. Alright. New face creme. Alright. Got it. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Uh. Victoria is going to be pissed. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Great. Truly pathetic. Agreed. So, map. Map. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Mm. Man, people here are merciless. See Kate's video for proof. Great. As this is like merciless. Black little totem. Juliet, extreme reporter. Stomp on Bigfoots. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Really is. Fire alarm, good to know. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Needs dusting. Okay. Missing person posters. Boards. The alert on campus. Geek Girls Book Club. Nice. Thanks for the warning. Vortex Club coming soon. Yeah, I agree. All right. Oh, that's just showers. Got it. All right, figure out where our room is. Be a zombie. Oh, bang bridge. No, oh, great. Yeah. That's better. The universal symbol for please leave me alone, asshole. That's not my room. That's probably Kate's room. Be the change you wish to see. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Great. Max's room? How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Okay. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. That's funny. Okay, let's try check it out.
our first time here? Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Oh yeah. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. That is pretty cool. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. I mean, that's gonna happen all the time. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. <laughs> Cinematic contents of this flash drive are a graphic life altering, altering controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care for the most discriminating viewer. I'm going to congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Alter Vixens. Fantastic. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. Hmm? When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Yep. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Also, we got a, like, message, right? Yeah. Max Principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales, Blackwell Honor Student. Great. Principal was, said this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. See, that's the thing. It's like, he wasn't believing me for the other thing, but also... I love that Mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Nice. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Oh yeah. We'll never get the day you're born, your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. We're so proud of you, etc. Alright. Very cool. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Yep. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Nope. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Well, let's play it now. There's no time like now. Check it out. That's something I need to do more of, is play my guitar. Eventually. Okay. So, we we'll press space to uh, kind of end those types of interactions, so that's good to know. Oh, we did not want to look at that. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. Agreed. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Mm. This action will have con- we will have consequences. <laughs> I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. Great. I don't really know why it would have consequences. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. But I prefer to water the plant One day I'll not. organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Ah. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. World your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need back, just track me down in my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Interesting. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. <laughs> I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. 
Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Yep. It's pretty neat. Um. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. <laughs> Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Yeah. That is I am pretty good. so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. <laughs> That's hilarious. Warren makes me laugh. It's Ma nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather electronic, collect elect eclectic collection of TV cult classic and films on a fat flash drive if you ever wish to check them out. <laughs> How a camera works. Nice. Okay. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. It. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Nice. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Fantastic. Um, coming back to this, well, now, there is a hockey team in Seattle, so that's pretty cool. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Mm-hmm. Gotta deal with it eventually. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? Very uh, much so. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Okay, well, let's find... Is it Dana's room? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Great. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. What the hell? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Ahoy. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. <laughs> what did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Hmm. Uh. Probably Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Nice. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Great. <sighs> Victoria's room was somewhere down here, right? Not exactly where I want to be, but that's where we is. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. <laughs> Rejection. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Ha, I agreed. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Yeah, those are fun. Wish I could get one. Eventually. Uh, we don't need to look at that. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom. Mm -hmm. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. <laughs> so sad to inform you as late punk Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do is mention that Juliet saw a nasty text from Dana on Zach's phone. Believe me, 
etc. Okay. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Yep. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Like, is there anything else we really want to look at in here? Not really. Get out while we can. Before she comes in here and be like, what the shit? Juliet, read this. Horse. Yeah. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. Mm -hmm. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set yeah. me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Thank you. Please don't steal my shit. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. <laughs> Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. <laughs> yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Yep. Good times. It would be a cool sticker without the words. This is both sad and pathetic. You know, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. Gee. Uh, you saw how I passed out. If you need any money, let me know, Logan. Fantastic. Uh, that looks like a home pregnancy test. Well, we'll take a quick peek at that and then reverse it. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Well, let's, uh... Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. <sighs> la la la, I don't see that pregnancy test. <laughs> hey, Dana. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. Uh. What about the other? That beat dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Oh. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's... That is definitely a better... Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I sh 
Well, you know we're going to look. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Yep. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Ah. Yep. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Too seriously, if you ask me. Alright. Tab journal. Yes, sir. <laughs> I can count all the cards. The more text, the longer I take. On my way. Okay. Um, we do have a few new journal entries, too. Right? Oh yeah, okay, so we'll read these really quick and then we'll head over there. Um, and then actually, well, we might just read these really quick and then call it an episode. I don't really know how long these actual episodes go, like the, the whole episode one chrysalis. Maybe it ends when we get there and the next one will be a short one, who knows? But yeah, it's been, it's been that about long enough so everything feels so surreal right now I can't talk to anybody about this well the only person I could I haven't seen in five years I could confide in Warden he's smart and knows science so maybe he could even think about of an explanation though I have no idea what that could be until I figure this out I better stay on the down low with this stuff focus on my classes Warren sent me texts asking for his flash drive even though I haven't had a chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who, Next Files, binged a full mental alchemist, then faster pussycat kill kill, all kinds of Amazon women, <laughs> black and white black badassery, nice. Tetsu uh, told a cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals, and Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, Scott Pilgrim's pretty good. On a side note, I saw a missing person poster on the campus for Rachel Amber, pretty Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen if there was a way for me to rhyme back six months, I totally would. So it's only been six months. Okay, so that's pretty recent. I had to go back to the dorm and get Warren's flash drive, and yes, Victoria and Vortex Vixens blocked me from getting in, even took my picture. It was so high school movie, I, I agree. She actually told me to go for your selfie, although uh, it was funny. I don't know why she had to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? She forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for a trivial bowl, especially if I've been given an actual gift from the universe, but it did give me a chance to check it out. But I felt like seeing Victoria sitting there by herself on the steps covered in paint. She didn't look like the Queen Biatch of Blackwell, just a lonely girl as confused as me. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She was actually nice and apologizing, deleted the picture she took of me off her phone. Maybe there's hope for the future. And there's one reason why you try to take that high road a bit. So, but we'll see. We'll see if it comes and bites me down the road, but right now it isn't. So, in my high school drama, Juliet wouldn't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexting Dana. So stupid. I was tired from everything since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive. I had intervened. Juliet told me that she's the one that gave her the uh, inside scoop on Zach and Dana, so I knew Victoria was playing them all. Snuck in her room. Found out she was indeed lying course felt like weasel going through victoria's room and laptop yeah but that happens all right well i don't know when it'll save next unless it just did there okay fuck this shit Damn, I better rewind. Oh. Alright. Get lost, hipster. I'm not fuck this shit. Ow. Hey. Kind of hoping that, uh, this shit. Oh, come Ow. on. That hurt. 
I saw the warn. It just didn't let me do it in time. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. There we go. Action of consequences. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Mm. All right. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Got it. Um, just wanted to see if the dude was there at all, but doesn't look like it. Hey, we take a photo of it. It's like, I kind of want to just keep playing. Maybe we just keep going until we finish episode one. I know it doesn't... They're not that long of episodes, so we can see. Um, by the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Okay. That's fine. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Uh, well, let's take a photo. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Um. What is going on? Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Great. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Well, we can. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand you what see I'm what, saying? What happens no, here? And leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Hmm. I wonder if I still have the uh, picture, too. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. Yeah, that's it a better... a lot. Anytime, Kate. This seems like a better... I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. <laughs> Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Nope. Help her out. She seems like someone that needs help. Help Kate figure out what's going on with Rachel, who cares about Victoria, etc. Right? Okay, it's just bringing us right to the uh, parking lot. Okay. There's like, there's just so much stuff to like, look around, check out. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I agree. I, I really can't stand that either. Um, you always... I don't know. I've seen it so much throughout my life. Um, have had so much of it happen to myself. So anytime that you see... Um, see it, it's like, well, now... Now what do we do, right? Um, and when you when you do see stuff like that it's like all right we really should we really should stop um but 
you know, stop things like that from happening because I have to that's, go find Warren and give him back his flash drive. That's really what we're there for, right? Stop bullying, stop all that pretentious stuff that's happening. Um, but just be good to each other. And that's what we should be preaching. Um, but I am going to pause it here because I do have some stuff that I have to go do. So thanks again for watching. And we'll see you next time.